acting head coach for today, Nia Butts. Michelle Vopel. Yeah, coach, obviously you have a, a ton of experience as a head coach, but still you had to step into that role today and, and in a tough, um, I know regional rivalry game, although you guys haven't played them um, that recently, but a lot of emotion. Can you talk about that emotion for you personally and then seeing the team respond the way that it did? Well, for me, uh, thanks, Michelle. Thanks for the question. It, it was, a uh, you know, a easier transition just because I have experience as a head coach, but also the circumstances um, were a little bit different. The good thing is IU was my scout. <laughs> so uh, the late game switch was a little bit even a little bit comfortable for me because it was my scout and I was already prepared for him uh, at a deeper level. So uh, but our, our team, our team responded so well. They've been resilient all season long and this was no different. Um, they wanted to come out and play. We didn't play well in the first half, and I just challenged them in the second half to come out and play better, be more physical uh, than Indiana because they were, uh, quite frankly, beating us in every area uh, at halftime. And so just challenged them to come out and play better in the second half, and we did. If I could just have a quick follow-up, do you, do you know how Coach Elsie's feeling or, or, you know, was she watching the game today? I, I wasn't sure if she was able to, to follow it or how she's doing. Yes, yeah, she was definitely watching it, um, definitely following uh, the game for us, and she's feeling okay. Um, she's doing well. I don't want to really comment any further on that, but, but she definitely was aware of the game and how we played. Thank you. You're welcome. Lonnie Demery. And you're on mute, Lonnie, so unmute before your question. There you go. Am I up? Yes, sir. Ask your question, Lonnie. You're good. Uh, first, first, I, I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to uh, let my fandom come out today a little <laughs> bit in that, in that years. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm old school, and I go back to the days when UK and uh, uh, played in down in football and basketball on a yearly basis. And uh, needless to say, the day covering this particular game gave me a gave me a sense of, uh, I guess, pride. I guess you say so. I'm 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 going I'm, I'm going to uh, pose that question to you, and and uh, and uh, how do you feel about it? Uh, in, in terms of uh, can you relate to what I'm saying? Well, you know what? Uh, the thing about me is I feel pride in every game. I think every game is a big game. Every game can be a rivalry uh, because you got two teams that are coming in there that have worked their tails off and, and played all practice all season long, ready for this day, especially in a situation like we have now with the pandemic. So they're all huge. I feel an incredible sense of pride. Uh, number one, being able to coach at Kentucky. And then number two, when you're playing a school uh, like Indiana and uh, as well as coach team as they are, it, it's, it's certainly a big deal for us. Uh, and it was a big deal for me. Right. John Wong. Hey, Naya, congratulations on a big win. I think you'll agree with me, but it seemed like that you guys got dominated at the very beginning. I mean, the size of Indiana bothered you. I think for the game, you all were uh, outscored points in the paint, 42 to 22. Uh, I, I was wondering, what do you attribute kind of that slow start to, and then what turned things around? Well, uh, the slow start was was Indiana. Um, you know, obviously we didn't do what we were supposed to do defensively, um, but quite frankly, they whooped us in the first half. You know, they were beating us at what we like to do. They pushed the ball at us. Um, we didn't get back in transition. Uh, so, you know, I have to give a lot of credit to them as a team, as a program, and what they set out to do. But we bounced back and we knew uh, the kind of basketball that we play. And we know what we're capable of, and we did that in the second half. Um, but in, in terms of the inside, uh, sure, uh, we gave up a little bit of size there, but we're a tougher team than what we showed in the first half, and we came out in the second half and proved that. Yeah, I think one of the things that uh, Coach Elsie has really emphasized is how much of a team you guys are this year, that everybody contributes. And, and you know, talk about somebody like like Chastity Patterson. I mean, her stat line today was pretty pretty amazing. She had seven rebounds, six assists, two steals, and I think twelve or thirteen points. I mean, 
Uh, how much does her experience add to the success of this team this year? Oh, it's incredible. It's incredible what she can do because she can score. You know, she's a threat offensively. She's a threat defensively. Uh, and as far as our team goes, we – we are a team of weapons, I, I, I like to say, because we have players that at any point in time can step up and make a play defensively as well as offensively. And uh, I think you saw that in the second half. Uh, our energy is incredible. Um, we talked about that at the end of the game. Energy is what it's all about, and you can feed off of that. Either, either it's going to be good energy or it's going to be bad energy. And for us in the second half, we had really good energy, and so I felt really good on the sideline coaching them down the, stre down the stretch. You can't be getting off to a 4-0 start, but as a coach, I'm sure there are always things that can be improved on. In your mind, what are the things that your team needs to improve on the most between now and the next couple of games? Transition defense. And if I can answer it again, it would be transition defense. And if you need another answer, it would be transition defense. <laughs> Josh, what, what are you emphasizing to, to the team in order to improve the transition defense? Well, it starts with uh, stopping the ball. We have to get the ball stopped, identif uh, stopped, identify who has it, who's bringing it up, and we have to bother the ball handler. We didn't do that at all uh, in the first half. They just ran every play got to any spot that they wanted to get to, and we have to get back and stop that. We have we have what we call a get-back player, and that player is responsible for protecting the basket until everybody else can fill in, and we didn't do that uh, well at all. So we will address that. We continue to address that. We just have to buckle down and make sure that, that we have that for 40 minutes. Josh Sullivan. Yeah, one final thing. Coach sure. Morin said that her team just got passive, and do you think that was a matter of – your team becoming more aggressive or did they get tired or, or what do you attribute that aspect of it to? Yeah, I, I'm not sure, um, you know, about Indiana in terms of the passiveness. I know with our team, I think our team got more aggressive um, down the stretch and that, that was a good thing for us. I mean, in the second half, you know, we, we outscored them 49 to 32 and I think that was because we just got aggressive. I thought at the first half um, we were – kind of we were being passive in my mind, um, weren't being aggressive going to the rim. Uh, we were wanting to get calls that we were not getting. And so we challenged them in the second half to go out and just make a play. You know, we have to attack the basket. We have to be the aggressor. And I think we did that a lot more in the second half. Josh, hey, thank you. I'll be looking for the transition defense <laughs> next game. Please. Josh Sullivan. Uh, hi, Coach. Congratulations. Uh, I just wonder if you could talk about the importance of Robin Benton's contributions off the bench so far, especially today in the fourth quarter. Right. I'm not sure we have enough time to talk about the importance of Robin Benton um, and what she's been able to add to our team uh, this year because she helps us on both sides of the ball. You know, if you've been following us, in all of our games, she has the most timely scores probably of any player, you know, as well as defensive possessions. I mean, she makes plays when we absolutely have to have them. And uh, we are so proud of the effort that she's given our team and the boost that she's given our team on both ends of the floor.